pools can be dangerous to kids, whether it's a public pool, a backyard pool, even those little kiddie pools. So this morning we're asking the experts what your kids need to know before going for a dip in the water. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live for us at the South Towns YMCA in West Seneca. Good morning, Ed and Katie. We're here at the South Towns branch of the YMCA in West Seneca. And you're right, we absolutely do have the experts this morning. And we do have a volunteer, Samantha, had a birthday <laughs> yesterday. So she's eight years old today. And she's going to show us exactly how important it is to have a life vest. But it's actually not the end all be all when it comes to safety. Parents can't put one on and think that's it, right? Right, absolutely. And I think that that's a lot of the times the education that we need to focus on um, that our friends need to learn a little bit more on is that, you know, you're not drown proof when you're in a life jacket. There's a lot of pieces to the puzzle that we as a YMCA focus on within our swim lessons. Absolutely. And so what are the first things that we're looking for when it comes to finding a properly fitting life jacket when we do use one? Well, as you can see um, inside this life jacket here, I know that the chlorine kind of took a, a, a liking to it, but um, you can still see though for sure that you're looking for weight requirements. You want to look for that weight range to make sure it's appropriate for the child or even the adult for an adult life jacket as well, that it's appropriate for them. Um, you also want to make sure once you put the life jacket on that you're looking at the class, making sure that they're in good working condition, uh, making sure that they're secured on each uh, avenue. And then after you've fastened all of your clasps, you want to make sure that it's a good fit. You want to make sure that your straps are tight, but not too tight. You don't want to put it on too tight and have it be uncomfortable and constrict the chest. Um, and then you want to give it a nice little tug, make sure that it's not going to go over the head completely because that's going to give you an idea of the buoyancy when they enter the water. Absolutely. And it shocks me. We talk about, you know, the deeper water and we think, you know, they wear these in deep water, but two inches of water can become deadly. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, like I said, with, with life jackets, it's it's not a drum proof, you know, resource. It's, it's a resource. It's a tool. It's something that you can use to help be safe around water, but it's not the be all end all. Uh, there's a lot more pieces to the puzzle to be safe around water. Absolutely. And those pieces of the puzzle, we've got a list of them on our website and our app right now for you. So just make sure you take a peek. I know we all feel like we know the rules, but it's important to take a look one more time before we all hop into the water again this weekend. We're live in West Seneca. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. She's adorable. Happy birthday. Eight years old. Yeah. She is so old. She wants to get back in the right. water too.